Hi, in this lesson you will be learning how to program a shortcut onto your post space by using Remote One Report One. On the home screen, you will notice that there's three spaces for shortcuts. In this case, they're set to zero. Then you have a choice here that says additional shortcuts. That's where your additional shortcuts will show up. For right now, we are going to edit and customize. Go ahead and choose edit and customize. You will have five choices. You're going to choose shortcuts. Go ahead and click on it. Let me explain what this is. This blue section is what will show up on your home screen as a choice. So what you want to do to begin programming is you want to go ahead and choose create new shortcuts. Go ahead and click on that. Then it will ask you what kind, uh, what class of mail you would want to uh, choose. In this case, I'm going to go for first class. I'm going to choose next, then I'm going to choose letter, next, and then I'm just going to very simply say save shortcut. Then it will go ahead and, you know, give me a choice to name it. I like this name. It prompts you with what the class of mail is, but if you choose to change it, you could. But I'm going to keep it the same but just so that you know that you have a choice. You're gonna go ahead and click on the green button if you want to save that name. And then you'll notice that it will say 0.485, and then it will say first class. I'm gonna go ahead and program another one. This time, I'm going to choose, I'm gonna keep it at first class. I'm gonna go next. This time, I'm gonna choose flat. Next and it's at 0.98 cents, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Save Shortcuts. I like that name, I'm gonna hit the green check mark, and now I have not only a first class letter, but I have a first class flat as well. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one. This time I'm going to make it a first class parcel. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Create New Shortcut, choose First Class Mail again, then I'm going to go ahead and do a parcel, parcels, hit next. And there's my price. I'm going to go ahead and hit save shortcuts. And I like that name, so I'm just going to keep it at that and hit the green check mark. Now I have letter, flat, parcel, which are, are pretty much our standard mail that people mail out. It'd be nice if they have it as shortcuts. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to put my letter as the first choice. Notice how it went in here and it pushed out the $0 one. I'm gonna go ahead and put my flat next. And I'm gonna grab my parcel and put it on the third choice. So I have first class letter, first class flat, first class parcel. I have no use for this $0 one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it by hitting the X it's gonna ask me if I'm sure, and I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna delete the other one, and this one. Okay, now I'm gonna sh uh, show you how to create an additional shortcut that will not show up on the home screen, but you still have it as a choice. This time I'm gonna go for priority mail, next. Uh, I'm gonna go for just retail, next. It's gonna ask me for a zip code. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, ship it to Chicago, 606. You only need the first three digits of the zip. Hit next. It's gonna come up with a price, and I'm gonna say save shortcuts. I'm gonna call this the 606. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the name, hit the green check mark, and it knows that this is my priority mail to 606. I'm gonna do another one just so that you guys can see the difference. Go ahead and do uh, create new shortcuts. This time I'm gonna go for international mail. Next. Let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and mail something to my family members in Guatemala. Choose Guatemala. I'm gonna go ahead and do a first class. Uh, parcel, next and then save shortcut. And international mail, I'm gonna call this PAR. I can abbreviate this. And 
let's say P R C. So I know that it's a parcel. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. Now I have two other choices besides what's going to show up on the home screen. So if I go back to process mail, you're going to notice that on the bottom here in the middle, it's going to actually now show what you chose as your first one, your second one, and your third one. It's going to say first class letter, flat, parcel. And then if I wanted to choose something else, I can go ahead and choose whatever I want, like for example, priority mail, right? And then it's going to go ahead and put that pricing up here just by clicking that, that button. Or let me see here, we can see it again additional shortcut I'm gonna go ahead and mail something to my family members in Guatemala and then when I cha uh, changed it to the price and it actually shows you right here what it is now let's just say that I didn't I just want to use a letter somebody can come up to the machine and just choose letter you see how fast that changes flat and parcel and it actually will calculate if you put something on the scale it would go ahead and change the weight and calculate at that class of mail. Here, let's see that again. Let's say I wanted to go ahead and uh, do a flat. Changes it to 98 cents, and then I can go ahead and put something on the scale. It will weigh it, calculate it, and then that's what it will print out. And this is the pretty cool part right here. It, let's just say you do a letter, right? And you see how it's 48.5? Let's say if it was something a little heavier than that ounce. Let's just say here, let me look for something to put on there. Uh, that's a little bit too heavy. Let's go ahead and put, uh, that's at one ounce see the price changes automatically because it's calculating that ounce to that first class letter why don't you go ahead and give that a try and see if you can go ahead and program some shortcuts thank you